This episode of Fine Scale Modeler's new product rundown features ICM's Laffley V15T, Edward's Avia S199, MPC's Caprice, Doll and Hobby's Hunchback, and Kinetic's Cheetah. New product rundown brought to you by Hobby Zone USA, your source for hobby storage solutions, hard to find hobby tools, and aftermarket modeling needs. And by Cult TV Man's Hobby Shop, the place to go for science fiction and fantasy kits, details, masks, decals, and more. Welcome to New Product Rundown, Fine Scale Modeler's twice monthly look at the coolest kits and other new releases. I'm Aaron Skinner. And I'm Tim Kidwell. Let's kick this crowded show into high gear, starting with ICM's 135th scale Laffley V15T. This four wheel drive French artillery tractor was designed to tow the Hotchkiss 25 millimeter anti tank gun. The odd chassis included small wheels at the front and under the center to improve cross country mobility. The kit features a mostly one piece frame with a few separate cross members, rear suspension arms and leaf springs, front suspension arms with coil springs and the transfer case attached to the Laffley's unique four drive shafts, one for each of the main wheels that get wrapped with solid but soft rubber tires. The smaller wheels are all plastic and come in halves. The detailed engine builds from several parts and mates with a separate transmission. The body comprises sides, floor, rear, and internal storage. Five multi-part seats fill the crew area, and the driver controls on the firewall include dashboard with decal dials, pedals, shifters, and steering wheel. A cowl covers the dash, and up front sits the radiator. As molded, the hinged hood halves can only be posed closed, but engraved lines inside should allow it to be shown open. Small front fenders, the windshield with separate clear panes, and the stowed convertible top finish the vehicle. This kit includes a Hotchkiss machine gun on a pintle in the center of the crew compartment. Decals and color diagrams give markings for two French vehicles in France in early 1940. This is an interesting vehicle and it should make for some neat early war dioramas. Up next we have Edward's 172nd scale Avia S199. Czechoslovak aircraft maker Avia continued producing BF-109 G6s after World War II using a Junker Yumo 211F engine instead of the Daimler-Benz DB605. About 500 were produced and they served both the Czechoslovak and Israeli Air Forces. This is the first time Edward has kitted any of the BF-109 family in 172nd scale. Typical of current Edward kits, surface detail on airframe parts like the fuselage, stabilizers, and wings consists of fine recessed panel lines and rivets. The rudder, ailerons, elevators, flaps, and slats are separate, and the underwing radiator's exit flaps are grooved to be poseable. The cockpit features a floor, seat bottom, control stick, side panels, and firewall with instrument panel. Photo etch metal and decal options are provided for the panel. The PE fret also provides seat belts, antennas, pedals, radiator grills, and canopy frames. Other features include the broad bladed propeller, detailed gear bays, doors, and separate exhausts, gear legs with sturdy locators that should set the angles effectively, and more. This kit calls for the sliding bubble canopy, and optional parts allow it to be posed open or closed. Clear parts also provide lights and the gun sight. Masks are also supplied. Decals and color diagrams give six marking options, five Czechoslovak Air Force in the early 1950s, and one from the police air patrol. Edward's Little Avia looks great in the box, and unused parts suggest that there will be more of the BF-109 family coming. Next, a classic reissue from MPC, the 125th scale Chevy Caprice. This kit has been around since 1975 and has been reissued a few times in different boxes. One thing has always been a feature and remains in this box is the inclusion of a tilt bed car trailer. In addition to building a stock version, the kit can be built as a security cruiser with roof light and door badges or as a hauler for a race team or a car restorer. The decals include all of the marker lights, instruments, and badging. The two-door body features well-defined door and trunk outlines and trim. 
The frame and some suspension and exhaust components are molded on the underside. I believe this kit started as an annual and there are large holes in the fuel tank for the now deleted screws that you may want to fill. A single part adds the rear suspension, drive shaft and the rest of the exhaust. Metal axles hold the wheels with chromed hubcaps and pad printed white line tires. Under the hood, the V8 engine features chrome headers, sump and air cleaner. A firewall and radiator block the engine bay. The interior tub receives a front bench seat with nicely molded upholstery, dashboard, and steering wheel. The chrome front grille and front and rear bumper, the windshield and cabin windows, and the taillight insert finish the basic car. Optional parts include the transparent red domes to fit on chrome fixtures for the security car, and extended side mirrors and a hitch for the trailer hauler. The trailer features the frame with sides and wheel arches, leaf springs and ramps, and tilting car carrying section, chrome mag wheels, and lights. This is a classic kit with round two's updates, including decals and pad printed tires. Looks great. Speaking of classic kits getting a little freshening, here's Doll and Hobby's 1 8 scale, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. This kit relives the magic of an Aurora release issued in the 1960s, but this tooling is from 1999 when Polar Lights reverse engineered it from Aurora parts. Doll and Hobby put the kit in a nice box with a plastic sleeve that has all the words. When it's removed, you're left with a clean box, including the original unobscured box art. Inside are the parts for Quasimodo's head, arms and hands, scarred torso, and legs. He is tied down with ropes and shackles to a revolving pillory that serves as the figure's base. Two nameplates are included, one decorative, the other the classic one used on the original Aurora kit. D&H's other updates include nicely printed instructions with color painting guide and a double-sided backdrop that can place the model in front of the classic towers seen on the box art or before Notre Dame Cathedral. It's been a while since this kit was last released, and it's great to have it back in circulation, and Doll and Hobby's additions make it even better. Our last kit is Kinetic's 148th scale Cheetah D, based off of the Dassault Mirage 3. The Cheetah program upgraded the South African Air Force's existing Mirage 3s with technology used on Israel's Kefir fighters. They were deployed during the Border War, or Namibian War of Independence in the 1980s. The D variant is a two-seat aircraft used primarily as a trainer, but is also a capable strike aircraft. Surface detail on external parts like the fuselage is extremely fine, with panel lines and rivets and some vents. The lower half of the delta wing is a single part with the belly, and the upper wings include the full leading edges. The rudder is molded with the vertical tail, but the elevons can be posed up or down with optional actuators. Canards, extended nose, a new lower rear with countermeasure dispenser, and full-length trunks inside the separate intake housings finish the airframe. The intake trunks end with the front fan. At the other end are a jet pipe with internal afterburner details and a nozzle. The cockpit comprises the two-seat tub with molded side panels, multi-part ejection seats, front and rear instrument panels, control sticks and pedals, detailed gear bays up front and in the wings except sharply molded legs for wheels with separate tires. Storage called for in this kit include a centerline fuel tank and a pair of Python 3 air-to-air -air missiles. The clear canopy with well-defined frames can be posed open. Other clear parts provide the rear seater's protective windshield, lights, and the HUD glass. Cartograph decals designed by FCM provide markings for three South African cheetahs and one in Ecuadorian service. I'm a big fan of the Mirage 3 family and Kinetic keeps releasing interesting variants of the aircraft. This one looks like another winner. Yeah, look for a review of the Cheetah D, the S199, the Caprice, uh, what else? Oh, the Hunchback. And the Laughley. On finescale.com in the near future. Where you can also find a whole bunch more reviews, how-to information, more videos, you name it, we've got it. And don't forget KalmbachHobbyStore.com, where now we carry a wide range of Vallejo paints and weathering products. Go ahead and click the link in the description below to check those out. Thanks for watching. He's Tim. 
<laughs> He's Aaron. We'll see you later. Say one more time, maybe Tim will look a little happier. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the Mirage 3 family. <laughs> I used to be a fan of the Mirage 3 family until I had to repeat this line five times. <laughs> oh no! Oh.